Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to replace a failed switch in one of our stacks. Right here I have the new switch, San Francisco. I have a console connection to this laptop. And the first thing I have to check is the license level that came with it. It is running LAN base license level. And right here our stack is running IP base license level. And the iOS software of 16.6.2. So in order to avoid the license mismatch, the first thing on the new switch is I have to run this command in the privilege mode, license, right to use, activate IP base, all, accept EULA. And I already actually ran this command, I restarted the switch, and it is running IP base license level right now. The other thing is I need on our stack, I need to make sure the new switch come up with the same software version so we run this global configuration command software auto upgrade enable so when I connect the new switch it will auto upgrade to the same version as, as the stack so this is our stack and the failed switch is on top right now it is turned off no patch cables, no nothing. I will take it off and put the new one. And this is the new one. And I added a network module as well. That is, let's uh, power uh, it on, connect the stacking cable first, and power it up. Tighten the screws really good. Now let's plug in the power cord. Here on the console I can see this message stack port 1 on, on switch 1 is up. That's your show version or show, show switch. I can see switch number 1 joined the stack. Switch number 5 should be the active switch because it has the highest priority. Uh, it will be fixed uh, after a restart. And you can see IP base is the license level for the stack. And they're all running 16.6.2. I did a restart for this stack. Nobody's connected yet, so I can do that no problem. Show switch, it will show you the active is the one of the highest priority. Thank you guys for watching.